For more than 100 years, since 1911, the Appalachian League has been a fixture in the baseball community. Fans have enjoyed the play of Stan Musial and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And now, under this new format, they'll enjoy up-and-coming college players. And they'll get a chance to shine right here in the mountains. You know, right now we're focusing on 2021 and having a baseball team here and, and playing baseball throughout the summer. It may not look exactly as some expected, but Tuesday's announcement has ensured that high caliber baseball will be played here in the two Virginias for years to come. We're grateful to Major League Baseball for preserving this, uh, this tradition and for following through on their commitment to keep baseball in our communities. The MLB and USA Baseball are already on the hunt for about 320 of the best college players and commits in the country to play a 54-game schedule next summer. But just as important as attracting the young ball players is continuing to nurture the relationship between team and city. We're hoping that uh, you know one of the benefits of bringing a group of 300 college players uh, into these cities every summer is that we're going to forge deeper connections between these players and these communities. We've challenged some of the uh, local communities to have a college night where you have uh, some three or four of your players on the roster be able to talk to some kids in your community about uh, the decisions they made to go to college and some of the thoughts process and all that. So it's not just baseball. We want to impact the communities that they're in. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. As Swartz said so poetically in a statement, the road to the big leagues now runs through Appalachia. We'll have more from the Rays and the Jays on this new opportunity in the days, weeks, and really months to come.